Hi guys, welcome back to Kim's class. Today's lesson focus is on the how and why the H and the TH disappear in words like he, him, her, and them. Let's go ahead and look at today's objectives. The first objective says, I know the difference between teacher talk, like me, and street talk which is what you hear outside of the classroom. The second objective is, I understand why words like he, him, her, and them have that disappearing H and TH sound. Now remember, during practice time, I'm going to be using example phrases from the idiom lesson at school. Don't worry if you don't understand the idioms or slang. You can go back and see that video later. Let's go ahead and look at these rules and why this H and TH disappears. So let's look at the rules of the how and when the H or TH disappear in a word. So the disappearing H and TH is most commonly found in the words he, him, his, her, and them. When the H or TH sound disappears, it sounds like E, M, is, er, M. Let's look at it again. Teacher talk, he, E, him, M, his, is, her, er, them, m. When we do some examples in a little bit, it'll be easier to understand. Let's look at the rule though of the why. So the sound h sometimes disappears from those pronouns, like I said, he, him, his, and her, when they are not stressed. I'll give you some examples of that in a minute. Also, the same thing happens with the TH sound in the word them. So if those sounds are not stressed, they just disappear. But they don't disappear, the H in the TH. They're pronounced if the pronoun is stressed or if the pronoun starts a sentence. You might want to write these rules down, but I think looking at these examples will make it a little easier to understand. Before I show you all of the examples, I want to remind you that some of these words that are underlined in green are phrases or idioms in slang that I taught in an idiom lesson entitled At School. If you don't understand what some of these phrases mean, it's okay, you'll still understand the exercise, but you might wanna go back and watch that video on idioms at school. So let's go ahead and look at an example in this first sentence. In this first sentence, the letter H in both he and his is not stressed, so the sound is going to disappear. In teacher talk, you would hear the sentence like this. What did he say about blowing his test? But that's teacher talk. What you actually hear is, what did he say about blowing his test? Did you see that? Did he say turns into, did he say? His test turns into the sound, is test. Let's look at an example of when we cannot reduce the H sound. So right here in this word, he, the H is stressed. So teacher talk sounds like this. I thought it was easy, but he didn't. Did you see how I stressed the word he, but he didn't? That means that this word or letter is stressed. So we can't reduce it. So street talk sounds like teacher talk. It's the same. 
I thought it was easy, but he didn't. Let's look at this example here. In this example, the word her is not stressed. So teacher talk sounds like, look at her cram for the exam. But it isn't what you hear. Street talk sounds like, look at her cram for the exam. Look at her cram for the exam. The words at her sound like at her. Look at her cram. Teacher talk, look at her cram. This example here has one her that is stressed, so we can't make that sound disappear, and another her that isn't stressed. You're going to see the difference in a minute. So teacher talk sounds like her teacher might flunk her. But listen to what you're going to hear now. Her teacher might flunk her. You still heard the word her teacher because it's stressed and starts the sentence. But over here, flunk her sounds like flunker. Her teacher might flunk her. Street talk. Get in the hang of it? Let's try a few more examples. Here we have at him. Let's listen to teacher talk. Look at him try to be the teacher's pet. Sounds very different in street talk. What you hear is, look at him try to be the teacher's pet. Did you catch that? Teacher talk, look at him try. Street talk, look at him try. Different, isn't it? Here's another example. In this example, both he's here and the him are stressed, so we can't reduce the sound. Let's put it in a sentence. Teacher talker says, don't tell he, that's not what it says. It says, don't tell me he is a copycat, tell him. Let me do that again. Listen for how I stress the word he and stress the word him. Don't tell me he is a copycat. Tell him. Because I stress the he and the him, we can't make that H disappear. Did you get that? Don't tell me he is a copycat. Tell him. No reduction. Let's look at this example here. Now we're going to put in the word them. Them is that TH sound that often disappears if it's an unstressed sound. In this sentence, the word them is unstressed. Listen for teacher talk. It sounds like all three of them are bookworms. But that's not what you hear. You hear all three of them are bookworms. Again, all three of them, teacher talk, what you hear, all three of them. Different, isn't it? Now here's an example of when the word them is stressed, so we can't change it. Teacher's talk sounds like, I didn't cut class for you, I did it for them. Did you see how I stress the word them in that sentence? I did it for them. Because it is a stressed sound, we can't reduce it. So teacher talk and street talk sound the same. One more time, I didn't cut class for you. I did it for them. Sounds the same. So let's see if we could actually understand today's objectives. So, do you know the difference between teacher talk and street talk? I think you do. And do you understand why the H and the TH disappear in words like he, him, her, and them? We've had some practice with that. So for now, 
the lesson is over. Thank you for coming to Kim's class and thank you for letting me come on this journey with you to learn English. Goodbye for now.